Welcome back, and thank you for staying with us. Before we went on that break, we were talking about the opportunity of the candidates to have an opportunity to uh, do a reporter. And if you have uh, any clarifications to make, please indicate, and you will have one minute. Uh, the candidate of the PDP indicated, right, please go ahead. Well, let me clarify again what I said when I said the Fighting corruption is not an economic policy. It is not that you can't fight corruption, but you can fight it more aggressively while addressing economic issues. For example, in 2015, unemployment and underemployment was 24%. Today it's 40. In 2015, we attracted $21 billion in foreign direct investment. We attracted only 17 last year. We attracted only 12 last year. That means it's going to, our GDP was 520 in 2015. Our per capita was 2,500. Today it's under 1,900. If you look at our stock market, it's lost over 2 trillion in one year. So that is not any policy. You're not creating jobs, you're not doing the right thing, and you're just fighting corruption. You can't shut down your shop and be chasing criminals. Thank you very when much. You come back, so Thank you. Please. 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 There are rules and guidelines to this debate. You are not allowed to chair in the audience. You are not allowed to chair, and you are not allowed to jeer at anyone. Please, let's stick by the rules. Otherwise, we may be forced to remove you from the hall. Please, let's be matured. Thank you. Candidate of the APC. Thank you very much. Let me say also that if you allow criminals to steal all the inventory in the shop, there will be no shop. <laughs> That's the problem. Please. That's the problem. Please, please. And, what has, and, and what has happened and what has happened to the Nigeria in the past 16 years is what the World Bank told us that the major cause of our poverty is corruption. That's a major cause. That's what we've been told. So, 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 let me say, so let me say that there is no way that we can minimize what has happened. We can't minimize corruption. If you minimize it, we run the risk of completely... In fact, the argument is lost. We cannot do what we want to do unless we're able to minimize corruption or eradicate it completely, which is what we're trying to do. I want to rebut the question about our debt figures. I, I, frankly, I know that, uh, I know that uh, the candidate of PDP knows very well. Unfortunately, sir, your time is up. Okay. And let me, let me again say that each time you chair or chair, you reduce the time of each candidate. And that time is very valuable, is very vital for him or her to make the necessary points. Please, let us reduce, the, uh, completely eliminate the chairing and chairing, please. The next question is a common question for all the candidates. In two, I mean 2016, when there was a major adjustment in the price of petroleum products from 87 Naira to 145 Naira, Nigerians reluctantly accepted this price hike in the understanding that this was going to be the last and that the world petroleum subsidy will be banished from the Nigerian government's lexicon. Now we hear of subsidy again. What is any of you going to do differently to put this problem to bed? Candidate of the Allied Congress Party of Nigeria. Two minutes. Subsidy, subsidy, subsidy. <laughs> that has been the the, the greatest appeal that the resources of this nation have been frittered away. What our government in power will do is to do away with subsidy. You do away with subsidy. Firstly, there are a lot of inefficiency in, in the system. The PMF, the petroleum importers, 
It's sometimes round tripping. They do round tripping. In addition to this, there, there is no effectiveness in it. And let me tell you, by continuing with subsidy, we are killing the economy of this country and we are killing the people. We are doing away, our government in power, by the grace of God, we do away with subsidy. What we do is to deregulate de 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 the sector. In a situation where you fix prices, you are, you are indirectly telling people not to come, but nobody will bring his or a capital into a venture that is not profitable. If petroleum product, if our crude petroleum is deregulated, there are international investors and local investors that will come to this country to come and, to come and establish industry, thereby creating so much job for our people. The SCPN government in power will deregulate, will deregulate the petroleum sector. Because subsidy is not even in the interest of the common man. Some of us will have as, as many as 20, 30 cars. There are not, what are the common people on the street? The poor peasant farmers, what are they benefiting from this? Some of them don't even have a bicycle. The subsidy regime only favors the rich. And any policy or program of government that does not favor the poor and the common man on the street, I think should we do away with it. We will do away with subsidy so that we can create jobs massively Thank you very much. for our people. Thank you. Candidate of the ANN. Good evening, sir. Subsidy, subsidy in Nigeria is fraught with corruption. And if transparency is being applied to the excess money being, being gotten from um, the, the balance of the sub subsidy is going to tackle a lot of problems that has fraught the nation. My big, our, our, what we're big on in Alliance for New Nigeria is the fact that Number one, will attack the, uh, the institutions to ensure that there's, there, there's um, enough transparency, there's enough technological, um, um, technological uh, issues, technological GPS that, that has been upgraded to ensure that every kind of corruption is tackled. If subsidy, is being if we what we want to do in Alliance for when it comes to is to number one diversify the economy which I have mentioned before. If we are able to diversify economy, the economy and stop the dependency of um, uh, on oil products, we'll have little or no problem at all with subsidy. And once we are able to get the uh, the residue of the subsidy, we're using it to also do the four important things that we, we've always talked about. Talking about restructuring of our infrastructure. We're talking about ensuring that um, most of these um, um, excesses are being allocated to various um, structures like education, health, uh, healthcare system, and all talking about the, the complete overall of of the, um, of the civil service system. So subsidy is not something that will, it's something Thank that will tackle much. properly. Thank you. Yes.